I said, good morning, everybody. Good morning. First thing I got, Heavenly Father, I pray in my mind, Lord Jesus Christ, I say, no, I'm Holy Spirit, I come from God, and reach out, Lord, and say, Jesus Christ. It's good to see everyone here. Yeah, Hope everybody's had a wonderful day yesterday. Yeah. Mother, those of you left, they really got a doctor. They really took advantage of that, baby. <laughs> but we had a good time. And they, 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 they down showed up and showed up too. They got it at the pool. They can't see. Yeah, they thought they could like the pool then. Well, it was a hot day. So we to go to the This is the last. I hope everybody got the new books for next week. This is the last book. This is the last set of good books. Revelation, everything's brand new. Revelation 21st chapter, verses 1 to 8. By the end of the lesson, we will evaluate the apostles, the characteristics of the book of Revelation to discern how to understand its message. Contemplate the coming of the new heaven and new earth for the hope of this vision bring and embrace the peace of God that begins in this life of Jesus. To, to really understand, we got to realize that this is. A, a vision yeah. that God gave John on how to pass. Many things, so, many things are very spiritual and not literal. So, so, so let us, you know, so people want to take it like, like when it says don't have some, uh, 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 this is that, but that's a spiritual speaking now. You know, this is a, this is a vision. Keep in mind, keep in mind, and God should wipe away all tears from her eye. And there should be no more. Then they will solve the pain. Then should have been any more pain for the former things are passed away. Mm -hmm. When we read that text right there, how is God going to remove the pain from us? He, 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 this text says he, he's going to wipe away all our tears. Am I on? No, it's not. Yes, sir. Cut it off, cut it back on. Okay, you cut it off. Okay, we're good now. All right. So how is God going to wipe tears from my eyes? How is he going to remove the pain? Well, there won't be any more pain and suffering when we, when we see Jesus. I mean, that would be all over with. And then we won't have the memory. Of what, what, you, what you said right there, we won't have the memory. Mm -hmm. and, this is, and this is where we struggle at. Because we won't be able to recognize as husband and wife, mom and dad, We'll recognize each other's brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Because if we could recognize each other's mom and dad, brother and sister, as somebody didn't make it, that would bring back what? Pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so God is not going to come down and, and, and take a bit tired and make tears in my eyes. You know, but, but, but what he is going to do, he's going to remove the memory of, of, of the suffering. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's like when, when the scripture says that uh, when we repent that God cast our sins into the sea of forgiveness. Sea of forgiveness. Yes, right. You know, it, it, it's going to be, that part of our, our being is going to be taken right. from us. Right. That's right. right. You yeah. know, so, 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 uh, the, the, the pain part, see, that's why as believers, we, we're going to have to suffer on this side. All that, all that pain got to come on this side. Because mm -hmm. when we get on the other side, it won't be no pain. No more trial. Yeah, and, and, and you know we, you know we sing the song all the time. My uncle used to say, 
I was a church leader. <laughs> they were singing a song. Uh, I'm going to tell God when, you, when I get home. I get home. <laughs> and they had a, had a huge church meeting. Mm -hmm. And one of them would get, I'm going to tell God when you. When. <laughs> what, what are you going to tell? Because you ain't going to remember none of that. Even when so, even that song, we, I come up on the rough side of the mountain. We might come up on the rough side, but when we get on the other side, we ain't going to remember none of that. Mm -hmm. Because if we can remember it, then, then, then we'll be suffering still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I just want to put this too because some people will use scripture of like Lazarus and the rich man and Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Now this is talking about final judgment. This is talking about when God's prophecy has been fulfilled. Everything has been washed clean. Yeah. Lazarus and the rich man and Lazarus they're still waiting in judgment because he remembered the rich man remembered his brother was back he said, you know what, go, go say something to my brothers back, you know, so that they might not go through what I'm going through now. This is a different. Yeah. So, so let me add something to that. The rich man still can remember that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But, but this man, right here, but, but, but the last one won't remember. The last one had to go about the rich man. Yeah. But the rich, see, I think, I think what Jesus was really trying to put in that text right there, he, the part, a part of that suffering is that they don't know where they at yeah. and where we at. Yeah, exactly. you, you know, that, that's part of their long time suffering. Because 45 was, he can remember all of us now. As Michelle said it best, the job you're looking for My is a. <laughs> and, and so, 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 so some, of this, some, some of their suffering ha has to continue on for they can suffer forever. Yeah. But we have the joy of life forever. That doesn't mean we can read the text. I want to get ahead of myself. We can start reading one verse of peace. Revelation 21. I saw a new heaven and new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and that was the only city. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Four, and God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, but the form of pain, or passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said upon me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Six, and he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Seven, <clears throat> he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Eight, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable. And the murderers, and the whoremongers, and the sorcerers, and the idlers, and all liars shall have their parts in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second day. That's him reading like God's word. I'm going to read the key place time then we'll read the back on it. So you both yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Secret places in John. John was named in Hebrew means Jehovah, his gracious, was one of Jesus' twelve disciples, and he is believed to be the author of the Gospel of John, three epistles, and the book of Revelation. The son of Zebedee and brother of James. He was one of the three in Jesus' inner circle, along with Jesus, James, and Peter, who witnessed the transfiguration in Matthew 7 and 1. And he was present with Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane right before his arrest, Mark 14, 32 to 33. John is recorded as the only disciple cousin of the crucifixion and was instructed by Jesus to care for his mother, Mary, John 19, 25 to 27. Of these three, he was the only one not martyred according to tradition. However, he was in prison on the Isles of after the soul for this for his faith. It was there that he wrote the book of Revelation. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is reported as being founded by Canaanites. See Ezekiel 16.3. And either named after one of 
their gods, Shalom, are adapted from the Hebrew word Shalom, which means peace. It is probably one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, highly sought after and fought over. Jerusalem has been besieged, attacked, and captured dozens of times, divided by Jews and Arabs, 1948 to 1967, historic twice, and rebuilt. The city was captured by King David and became known as the City of David, 2 Samuel 5, 7. It is a place where Solomon's temple and subsequent temples were, was built, and a place where the events leading up to the crucifixion of the day of Pentecost and much of the history of Acts occurred. It is claimed as the rightful possession of both Israel and Palestinian nationals. Jerusalem is known as the holy city for three major world religions. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Background. Although Revelation is the last book of the Bible, it is not necessarily the last book written. John's original vision may have occurred shortly before the destruction of the temple, AD 7. But some aspects of the book suggest that the Apocalypse, as we know it, could also represent visions that occurred after the destruction of the temple, similar to portions of Ezekiel and Daniel. The book is apocalyptic literature filled with symbolism, poetry, and prophecy, specifically <coughs> about the end time. Because of the symbolic language, it can be difficult to understand, and there are many interpretations of how or when particular events will occur, or whether they have occurred already. However, John makes it clear that this is a revelation of Christ, affirming God's sovereignty. This revelation serves as a warning to some, and it provides hope in the second coming of Christ and final victory over sin, Satan, and death for those who believe in Christ. With this vivid imagery, he describes events that will occur, signs of end time, the awesome glory of God, and the beauty of a new heaven and new earth. Revelation 21 is one of the last two chapters of the book, and it grants a glimpse of eternity. Amen. <clears throat> so, going back to keep this time, it says Jerusalem. It's known for the, as Holy City. Mm -hmm. Three major religions. Christianity. Where did Christianity come from? Christ. 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 That's exactly right. Islam. Where did Islam come from? Uh, one. Ishmael. 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 Yeah. So then, where did Judaism come from? It's, uh, it's just, uh, from the Jewish Judaism. So, so actually, it's from Abraham. And, and this, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. They all knew God. They all knew God was. But but in the belief, they all didn't accept his son Jesus. And that's where the that's where the conflict comes in. But 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 Abraham followed many nations and this it shows that. And it shows it right over there. And that's where the conflict comes in. Because they are jealous of one another. And what God has for you is for you. Yeah. And there's nothing you can get around that. So so this lesson, he's like, right, he's trying to get us to understand that what 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 heaven's gonna be like. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, it, and this is where we struggle if we don't put the Bible together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. And when you take one piece out of the way, miss with miss with lose one piece, you won't never find it right. And so, what what Paul writes in first first ten, that's along the fourth chapter, and what he writes in. First Corinthians 15, chapter about the chain. If you don't understand that, put it together, you'll miss something. Mm -hmm. And so that's what, and this is what John is writing here. Notice now the writer said, John's gospel, this revelation is not the last book. Mm -hmm. You know, revelation was written after, before the, the book of the gospel of John. But he's on the island of the exile. 
And so, um, it talks about the first two verses, it talks about a new, all new. Uh, you might as well speak on the power of being there. The first step is just all new. Revelation chapter, on page 510. Huh? <laughs> All new. Johnny is this chapter by Sharon's vision of a new heaven and earth, a fulfillment of Isaiah 65, 17, and 18. This could be a restored and holy cleansed version of God's creation, or it could be an unused, fresh heaven and earth that replaces the one that was marred by sin and its effects, death, sorrow, and chaos. In the ancient Near East, the sea was a symbol of chaos. The Canaanites said that God Am controlled the seas. John notes that the sea no longer exists, thus implying the establishment of complete order in the new creation. Not only is there a new heaven and earth, but there's a new holy city, a new Jerusalem coming down from God himself. Jerusalem has been at the center of Jewish and Christian tradition. While it is called the holy city, because of God's presence is said to dwell there, historically it has been marked by division, fighting, death and chaos from its founding even into the present. In this vision, God presents Jerusalem as a bride, a virgin, untouched, untainted, pure and presentable to a perfect Christ. He does not fix the current Jerusalem by going to it, but he presents a new, true, holy city through his presence. Amen. 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 We consider that chapter 21 begins a new session of the book of Revelation. In chapter 1 to, to 3, it talks about Jesus, the Lord of the churches. In chapters 4 to chapter 20, it talks about Jesus, the Lion of the nation. But in chapter 21 to 22, Jesus, the Lamb among the believers. So the idea of a new earth with new atmosphere and the sky is a familiar thing in the Many of the prophets, both old and new, talk about a new heaven and new earth. And so you go to Isaiah 65, what she talked about? 65, 65 chapter, 7, verses 17 and 18, Psalms 102, 25 and 27, and then in, in the New Testament, 2 Peter 3, 3rd chapter, 12 and 13, all talks about a new heaven and work. So, so he lets us know that it's going to be something better. So, so when you think about the chaos, uh, that this this world or everything in this world is going to is going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you and you look at the trees is a prime example. A month and a half from now, the leaves going to be gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now before they go, they're going to change though. The colors going to change. That's going to be a beautiful scene, yeah. especially in the mountains. But it's going to be a change. So when God replaces up, He's going to replace something permanent. He's going to replace something permanent. But notice, and I know it talks about the seed, though. And this is a good description of creation. If you notice that when God made the heavens and the earth, there was no seed. When he, when he created when he created this world, he had to divide the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to divide the land and put the seed earth. So, 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 and this is what he's saying, there won't be no more seed in it. Yes, sir. But, but it's going to have to be some part of it because we don't know where it's going to be, but the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they be cast into the lake of fire mm -hmm. forever. And that's going to be a sight right there, man. Amen. And that's Amen. why, I, 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 if, if you don't like the heat, <laughs> you about to change your ways, man. That's what I'm yeah, saying, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday was rough, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that. I felt about like like eight bottles of water yesterday <laughs> before I left here. Johnny, because I feel like I'm going to get me high, baby. Yeah. Now, now just think about how hot. It was going to get 17 times hot. Yeah. And, 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 and so why would you not, why would you take a chance on going there? Yeah, so it's true. And that's also, you know, it says, uh, let's see, what you was reading is, uh, there's been a lot of chaos, and mm -hmm. we have chaos here. Yeah. The, the sea also did, was uh, divided. Mm -hmm. It divided the land. That's right. Divided, you know, the sea divides nations, continents, and all that mm -hmm. too. But at that point, everything will come together mm -hmm. and move out all this division that we have now. Too. Yeah, and so, so when you, if you look at a map and you took out the sea, mm -hmm. 
all the land will fit perfectly back together. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so and, and only, only, now, now if we, that's why if you don't believe in God, you, you will start believing. Mm -hmm. Because only a God can do that. And we only have one God. Mm -hmm. So, so, not only is there a new heaven and new earth, but there's a new holy city. Mm -hmm. See that, and that's where New Jerusalem. Yeah. New Jerusalem descends from heaven. So, so, it is going to come down to the holy city. This is the Jerusalem of hope that, that the writer of Hebrews talks about. The terms holy and new dis distinguish the city because it is only holy and new as it did from very anything on earth. The name Jerusalem deals continuality with earth. It is significant that this glorious glory place of God and his people are described there. See, the acts of victims right there. God, but Jesus says in chapter 14, I go to prayer place for you. Yes. But this is the place he's, he's only to prayer for us. Right. He, he repaired his house as a bride adorned for us. Now you think about it. Some of y'all uh, had a big wedding and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Think about all the groom he didn't bring that for us. The groom. But the bride, you yeah. think about what, the, what she went through to repair herself. Mm -hmm. You know, Okay, we can't spend, spend months buying a dress. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they spent all that day preparing us and getting made, made up, how fix and all that. And, this thing about, and that's why Jesus said, the price of bride. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the bride takes time to apply mm -hmm. yeah. and, and God is get, taking time to, to get us there, yeah. the church. Yeah. And, and, and we are not there. That's why uh, Paul writes in 2 Timothy, I fought a good fight. Yeah. I finished my course. I kept the faith. Because he's ready now. Mm -hmm. But but go ahead, sister. Now just just for what want y'all to know, speaking of uh weddings and stuff, back in the day, my husband and I, we had a motorcycle wedding. We drove rode to uh Hopkinsville, Kentucky with McKelly Jesse. Uh, doing our wedding, and we had about 27 bikes, and I came in just like a regular wedding. I had my 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 niece as my best uh, flower girl, and I rode in the back with Jerome Moody with my heels and my dress on. So I had a wonderful motorcycle wedding. Just just so y'all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. Thank you, <laughs> so, so John, John used the most striking, beautiful entry to think of. The most beautiful thing a man will ever see is his bride coming down the aisle, yeah. nice and smiling. Uh, but, but, but not only does he talk about the place. Amen. But he said God dwells there. Mm -hmm. Verses 3 and 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you didn't even read that right there. <laughs> God dwells? Yeah. God dwells. Verse 3 and 4. Now that a new holy and perfect heaven, earth, and Jerusalem have been, have been created, God is free to live among his people. Tabernacle was known as the place where God's glory resided temporarily. Exodus 25 and 8. When the cloud or pillar of fire God's presence moved, it indicated when the Israelites should pack up their tent and the tabernacle and move along with him. In Revelation, God from his throne had say he would set up his tent and live with the people. Human kings do not reside among the people, but God, reminiscent of the incarnation of Christ, who became flesh and made his dwelling among us. John 1 14. Chosen to do so. Because he is there, he wiped away every tear. Isaiah 25, 8, 65, 19, and Revelation 7, 17. Removing death, sorrow, crying, and pain. The new earth will be as was the original one when God walked with Adam and Eve, Genesis 3 and 8. But this time, without influence or presence of Satan, who is now defeated, Revelation 20. All things will be made anew. It's a fresh start. All right, all right. Verse 3. Here's where man first gets in the future. He said, I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the yeah. child of God is with me, and he would dwell with them, and they should be his people, 
and God Himself to be with Him to be their God. That, that's that's in not now. Uh, what I'm getting at. How many times y'all heard when we read the scripture and the people of God, mm -hmm. the word of God for the people of God, and the people of God said, "Amen." Mm -hmm. Why the word? You read Romans. Romans is the roadmap to salvation. Mm -hmm. So, so if we never heard it was similar, then read Romans. They wouldn't know how to be saved. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I said we got to be careful until these saves we say. Because that's called it sounds. It don't make it sound right. The word of God is for everybody. Yeah. It was be, because and when we and we said we we eliminated sinners sitting down the pew because they said, well, this this Bible ain't for me. It, it is for you, but 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 uh, because we all need the word. Yes. Now, 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 now the law is for His people. Mm -hmm. You know, if we go back to Exodus and Leviticus, when God told He said, not just for the not just for your house, mm -hmm. for those who the strangers may come in your house, they still gotta follow the rules. Mm -hmm. It ain't like it used to be, but but, but whoever stayed in the house with us, yeah. And they had to get up that morning. Mm -hmm. Or they stayed, or in the Bible stayed, well, we went. Yeah. You went. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how God's law was. That's, mm -hmm. you know, he told, he told, if a stranger ain't traveling with you, mm -hmm. but you go. But, but we got to understand, when we get over there, mm -hmm. God's going to dwell with us. Yeah. And we're going to be his people. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be our God. That, that's what that means right there. Not now. The Holy Spirit is willing to this one now. But God himself. It's going to dwell with us over there. Mm -hmm. uh, he would dwell with and they should be his people. This states that's what God's desire and man's purpose. What is our purpose? What is man's purpose? To, to, to worship and praise, to glorify him. That, 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 and and, and we, we fail, and this is why it's preparation, because we got to learn how to worship God the spirit right. and spirit in truth. Because I said all the time, I'm, I'm, Building the church, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a build a big vessel. That way, when them doors open, nobody sees. Cause every time them doors open, everybody <laughs> is a distraction. That's stuff. true. That's we, true. And we gotta stay focused, that and that's so why that's part of worship right there. Mm -hmm. We 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 shouldn't let nothing yeah. distract us from praising Him. Said that past. But 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 we do though. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. And and, and, and and He talked. So Jesus says. In, in John chapter 4, when he talks about Samaritan woman, he said, You got to work in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can't be phony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, years, ago, years ago, a preacher was preaching, and, and a preacher said, Stop and he said, Come on, step up. We're going to have to get on that. He ain't saying nothing. No. He said, You got to have the face of the maker, You got to have the face of the maker. If you, if you sit down on him, he'll stand up all back on. He said, come on, let's stand up on him. But, 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 but he was saying that sincerely to try to, because he wanted to help him. But, 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 Lord, how much? <laughs> but, but we got to learn to worship God. We can't be phony like worship now. Yeah, we can't yeah. be phony. We got to worship God in spirit and truth. Amen. And, and we got to be real. Because he's real. Yes. Yeah. Any questions, comments? So true. We we'll do this next in a second, man. Mm -hmm. the, the former things are passed away. Yeah. This is where we, the former thing. The new Jerusalem is distinguished by what it does not have. No tears, no sorrow, no death of it. We in the land of no more. Mm -hmm. So, 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 it, it does not have that. God will wipe away every tear from my eyes. Every, and, and how is he going to wipe away? He's not going to use no. No rag come down. Yeah, He's gonna yeah. remove those that process that that will cause us to have tears. All right, mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna call it. It, it. it is no different when, when you go back to Genesis chapter one. He said, "Let us make man mm -hmm. and our own image." And he said, "Let them be fruitful and multiply." Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, a woman was not gonna have no pain in her childbirth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because of what Eve did, Ooh. she she had she had to be punished. And see, y'all don't get mad at us when we're going through that pregnancy. It wasn't our fault, man. It wasn't our fault. My wife still fussed me today. Because I wasn't paying no attention when Mickey was born and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 just fussing. It wasn't my fault. But, 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 
but but that pain that that we go through on this side is all going to be taken away. Yeah. And, that, and that's a good. You think about you think about what Paul writes in the first Corinthians fifteen chapter. The steam has been removed. We we was, we was coming back from uh, a visitation up on the south of uh, Bennington, Texas, where it was at. One of my core sisters had passed, and he was a trash pump. So we was coming back, and the AT kept on saying, mm -hmm. So we went, we went to get something even set. at Miss Patty's house. At Miss Patty's. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But AT thought, he, he said, Well, is Miss Patty going to be up? Because he didn't have a dog, man. She's going to be up. <laughs> but, but there was a bee in the car, though. And A.T. tells us, that is bigger than him. I said, A.T., don't worry about that bee. That's big. We still me 30 minutes ago. It, it's done. Oh, he, wow. he came, you know. And that's what Jesus did. He took the steam out of, out of death. Mm. So, so, and this is why death is not the problem. Yes, yes. Death is dying an issue. Mm -hmm. Dying for me, suffering. But oh, death, God, I ain't talking no dead person to me that they, they, death of him. <laughs> I hadn't talked to them, they, they, they ain't told me that. But, 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 on this side, uh, suffering is part of it. Yes, Lord. And, and as the believer, we got to understand, suffering is okay. If y'all read that, in that book, um, on the page that we got Delaney and Michelle on, it, it, she put in her from that. Uh, the suffering on this side, it's nothing to be compared to, mm -hmm. to the glory that we revealed on the wow. other side. But God has for us on the other side. Yes. No matter what we go through on this side, Lord it is God. all going to be better, yes. better, by yes. God. Amen. And, and so, 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 and this is why we can't recognize our loved ones. We, we won't be able to, you know, and I can preach say it all the time. You, 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 uh, we'll meet, we'll see so and so, and we'll meet. It, it, that sounds good, but it, it can't be. Because trust me, just as we get to see everybody, then there's going to be somebody that ain't getting mad. Uh, and, and what's that going to cost us? That's going to cost us some tears and pain. Because it's going to be some people that come to church with us after something. <laughs> it's not going to make it, man. Mm -hmm. I was at a funeral a couple years ago, and, and, and the young lady said something precious Lord. And I said, listen now, I don't want y'all to take me wrong, but everybody's saying precious Lord. I ain't gonna make it to heaven. Yeah. And she said, you ain't gonna make it to heaven. She came and said, you mean to say that I'm not gonna make it to heaven? I said, I just said it to heaven. I'm gonna tell y'all who it was, y'all. It was Joyce from First Baptist. Oh, Joyce Mouse. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, she came, yeah. and she, every time she said, me, don't want me, don't want me, I said, I'm gonna make it to heaven. And since I'm saying that, the oh, brother passed, too. Sister Hill, the brother passed. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what Huh? No, I don't. But you know, I, it's the same that it's, it's only to me a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. And Pastor T, if you were in heaven and you recognize uh, different people, like from your family, yes. or your friends, or mm -hmm. people, if they would bring back, it could bring back memories and pain. That's yeah. exactly right. So, you know, uh, and you know, that song, you know, I'm going to tell God mm -hmm. what you did, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It's misleading. Yeah, it's misleading. You know, and a lot of people actually take things like that seriously. Mm -hmm. and, and I noticed uh, a lot of songs are yeah. all misleading. Yeah, and, and it's, it sounds good. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I said uh, the Word of God, the Word of God exactly. is what strengthens us. Strength, strength. Mm -hmm. Some songs. It's about emotion. Mm -hmm. you know, we get caught up in emotion. Because even if you made it to heaven, even if we all, there's some people that did some bad things on this that's going to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know how we are, we hit them. Yeah. You know, I don't want to see that on this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. You know, it's going to be a whole different mindset. We can only guess on this side of what it's going to be like. Yeah. But the Bible tells us eyes haven't seen. That's right. Yeah. You yeah. know, we can only imagine mm -hmm. what it's going to be. But we really don't have the uh, ability to really comprehend it because mm -hmm. we're going to be in the presence of the Creator. Yeah. You know, and that, and that is joy. Yeah. You know, pure joy to be. 
That's right. That's right. And that, it's not about you and I. It's about him. Mm -hmm. It's all about him. And, that, and that's why I said we have to, we have to, we have to prepare ourselves to get ready to be able to worship him that way. And we're not, we, we have not arrived at that place yet. And, and, and God is still putting us on the, on the wheel, yeah. molding and making us, because he's trying to prepare us to be ready and able to worship him in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. and, and the problem here is it, like, go back to the stuff, you know, we, 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 we like that part about no more pain. Yes, yeah. yes. So we think about the doctors, so it's uh, business and all this yeah. pain. Yeah, but but, but it, 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 it's, it's more yeah, to that cold. It, it's it's some it's some not just physical pain, but mentally pain. Yeah, yeah, emotional. Yeah. all kind of pain, and he's gonna he's gonna take away from us mm -hmm. because why? Because he's gonna make a brand new. And so it said to uh, so I'm gonna read that last all done back to five to eight all done. It's it is done. By the event reported by John have not yet occurred. This is a promise of completion for, for the all powerful, all knowing one, the creator, who is the beginning, alpha, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, and the end, omega, the final letter of the alphabet. Throughout scriptures are references to the living waters, Jeremiah 2, 13, Zechariah 14, 8, John 7, 38, Revelation 7 and 17, Revelation 7 and 17. Water that is not stagnant, like a pond, but free flowing and fresh as, as from a mountain stream. Stagnant water is often dirty, full of harmful bacteria, and is not recommended for drinking. Flowing streams and fountains, however, refresh and gives life. No one can survive without physical water. Christ uses the water of life metaphor to demonstrate the need for us to quench our spiritual thirst through him. John 4 and 10, uh, 14. For those who first who thirst for him, he offers this water, eternal life. Those who belong to him will be children of God and inherit all the blessings already mentioned. A new heaven and earth, eternal life free of pain, sorrow, and fear. In contrast, those who choose a sinful life apart from him Fearful of commitment to him, rejecting him, not believing, worshiping false gods, practicing sexual immortality, are destined for a place far worse, a place filled with pain and a second death. Amen. 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 Hmm. So, so, the story is about Elijah and the captain man that he had come down with leprosy. And this slave girl went to Elijah. Elijah told him to do what? Go to the what? And, and dip yourself seven times. Mm -hmm. It was that what? Jordan River. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he said, Why can't you go somewhere else? Mm -hmm. yeah, that old dirty Jordan water. But now, notice now, Jesus was baptized work in that Jordan River. Mm -hmm. and it's, it, it's not, it, it didn't feel what kind of water it was. He would want to be baptized. But notice now, same way we come in there. It looks bad, don't it? Mm -hmm. But you go to the ocean. The ocean looks like what? Nice and blue and pretty. You just want to go here. What's that? It's a tent. 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 It's a ruby, yeah. When was a ruby? That like, water was like the last was waxed nice and pretty yeah. and blue and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and and this is it is flowing though. Mm -hmm. It's not stagnant. It's flowing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what he comes in. This river, this, you know, because it's going to be a river. It talks about when we get to heaven. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a river mm -hmm. that's crystal clear. That's yeah, right. yeah. You, you know, and, and, and so that lets us know that that that, that it's gonna be life there. Yeah. And, and not just life, but life more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Right? Because he, he has made it new. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he says, it's done. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, it's done? It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. And, and, and 
uh, it's not nice to be said about that. Mm -hmm. And so, and John writes this to give us hope about the future. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. He, he's letting us know that, that, that what, what he writes later on in that 14th chapter, when he said, I go to prepare a place for you, mm -hmm. that why I'm in, he may be obstacle, that, that he lets us know that that place is already ready. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to get the place ready. <laughs> he got to get the people ready. All right. All right. That, that, that's a hurry. All things new. This yeah. is a brief glance at the thing behind God's eternal plan. To allow sin and this destruction of the world to do a greater work of making all things new. It was his plan. See, that's what everybody understands. It was his plan. God didn't have to let sin come in. Mm -hmm. but, but, but he allowed sin to happen. Well, we might have to go through some pain oh, and suffering to, because he wanted a better praise. The angel, the angels were already giving him glory, yeah. but, but they had their own about no suffering. Yes. Yeah. But look, when you, when, as a believer, we, 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 he allows us to go through some things to make a better prayer for him. Yes, yes. Now, 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 now. Oh, we, yeah. We, 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 we took a pause off, but, uh, when, when, when there's a storm hit, the church got in full. Mm -hmm. When 911 hit, the church came full. Yeah. Whenever some kind of destruction happened, they come full. When 2016 happened, the church should have been full. Yeah. Yeah. Should have been full. Yeah. Before you know, and then, but we wouldn't act right. So God showed us something. Mm -hmm. That COVID coming in. Mm -hmm. And I'll show y'all what, 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 you, what you really need. So, so, so. We couldn't even come to the house then. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and the sad part about it, when, when, when they took off the took up COVID, the church didn't sit in here for we got more people laying out now mm -hmm. than we ever had before. I know that's right. And, and, and know but what we right. should have been running to the church, mm -hmm. thanking God for keeping us yes. through the storm. Yeah. But, but 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 we have gotten so far away from from, from God's word mm -hmm. that we think. We think whoever's in the White House is going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. It ain't the White House. Mm -hmm. It's the one who sits on the hill. Yeah. Amen. Woo! I know that's right. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, so he's giving us this invitation. One, it's done. God's eternal purpose in Jesus is not complete. We don't have to worry about that. That work is done. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when he hung, bled, and died, when he was called Calvary, yeah. those that died upon him, yeah. it's his story. And then we got to be willing to tell the people about his story. Yes, yes. And so he says, I will give of the fans of the wall of black freely to him who thirsts. Uh -huh. Freely. And, and, and this is why we get caught up, you know, we, we as believers put stipulations on this and that. Mm -hmm. but, but the gospel is free. Yes, yes. And, and we should freely give it. Yes. Drinking and thirst are common picture of God's supply. And man's spiritual need. You, we can't live without water. That's right. We, we can't live. But as a believer, you can't live without the gospel. Okay. Right. And, and, and you just can't do it. You, right. If you take the fish out of its water, mm -hmm. they'll die. That's right. If you take the gospel away from you and I, we'll die. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we, we need Jesus. Yes. And that's his story. And this is what we got to try to share, do our best to get, get it across to the people that need for Jesus Christ. Um, you know, and this is why it's so important. This is why he said, so so faith turned by him and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. This is a faith journey. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. You got, I don't know about tomorrow, yes, but I know yes, who holds tomorrow. Yes. And, so, and so because of that, we got to learn to walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight. Mm -hmm. It is not faith if, if, if you if, if you got to see it like down Thomas to believe it. Mm -hmm. You got to believe it before you see. we went at the cross. Mm -hmm. We went, to, but, but but our sins, whatever we went, but we believe what happened at the cross. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But, uh, it's it's hard for us to kind of fathom what some of the Bible is saying. It, it tells us about death, but it says there's something worth something worse than the body dying. It's the second death. Mm -hmm. 
You know, but it's, it's hard for us to, to, to grasp that concept mm -hmm. because no living person has seen it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just go by what the word says, and that's what we have to hold on to. That's what because of the word said. He said it, it's uh, one of the apostles got chastised. Mm -hmm. That's that Jesus told him, said it's one thing to fear those who can kill the body, mm -hmm. but it's worse off to fear. You know, you should fear the one who can give the body and the eternal soul. Yes, right. So that he made that that you know eternal. Mm -hmm. We we can't we don't know. We we got people uh, testing rocks, talking about the billions of years old. Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah you know, yeah. we we can't really you know grasp that kind of yeah. bill, billion years. That's right. You yeah. know what are you what are you saying? What what number is that? All these zeros. You know. But All right. this is something that's going to be, we're going to be like, when, when I think about it, it's going to be like, okay, if I'm 33 years old, Come on now. that's where I'm going to be at forever. See? Mm -hmm. See? I'm not going to grow any older. Uh -huh. I'm going to be right there forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and 33 was a big year. But <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm right. just saying, you know, just, 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 just to, uh, Today's good too. <laughs> but I'm gonna double that. <laughs> but but you know, we, we have to really pray about controlling our emotions. Yeah. You know, because these emotions when you're talking about no more tears and no more that, those are emotional things. Yes, right. You know, don't and, and so it's happiness. But he didn't promise us happiness, he promised us joy. Yes, right. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 And you know what you said is so true. Uh, we want to stay the same, yeah. and we cannot stay the nope. same. Time to move. And, 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 but the problem is mentally and physically, but, but we act like the same way spiritually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, I, I'm saying now, yes. I, 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 I'm, I'm good, yeah. and we're not good. We, we got to keep on, as uh, King yeah. George said, we got to keep on rolling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if, we, if, if our babies didn't grow. Mm -hmm. We would take them to the specialist. Yeah, that's so right. wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need a specialist here today for some of my souls. Yeah. I mean, you think about it. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. when, when yeah. people have no desire mm -hmm. to come to Sunday school or Bible study, uh, yeah. then, then how much growing can they do? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it's easy to grow. You know, everybody come to Sunday morning and get the shout on. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but when the storms are locked up, yeah. You, you, you need to know the word of God yeah. and, and what it does. So, so it talks about her in the last week. So he, he who overcome shit and hurt all things. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to say this now. Salvation is an eternal gift from God. Romans 6, chapter 23, verse 7, for the wages of sin is dead, mm -hmm. but the gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. Salvation is a gift. But you should want more, to do more for the Lord than just receive salvation. Yeah. See, that this is this is what Paul says in that eighth verse of that second to the four and eight. He said he will he will reward those. He will reward them. We got to give to seek him, Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Diligently. That means we got to put self for some effort. Mm -hmm. and, and, and just 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 being a pupil member is not not it. That's true. And, and, and this is what's wrong with, with the Christian world. We got a lot of people members, but not a lot of disciples. Mm -hmm. Disciples are anonymous and followers. The disciples are, are dealing with trying to know more about him. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what we struggle with. And this is why people are, get so misconfused with the word of God, for they're not rooted mm -hmm. in the word of God. Mm -hmm. But but he said here that he he will come to her all things. Mm -hmm. But the cowardly, yeah. the cowardly, those who reject Jesus and make themselves apostate are for him from entering New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The cowardly. What do you mean by cowardly? Well, those like what the uh, what the apostles did, they didn't commit in breaking it all. But in the face of death. For what they're believing, what they believed in, they stood firm. 
You know, they, they witnessed, they testified, I'm going to believe in Jesus no matter what you do, like what Job said. Yeah. All right. You know, even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You know, so when he, Jesus warned us that we would, that his followers would be persecuted, you would be hunted down, mm -hmm. you would be targeted, but you have to stand. Exactly. Yeah. You have to stand firm in spite of it. Yeah. They were cowards, too. Yeah. <laughs> when, when Jesus was up uh, in Christ, mm -hmm. going through all that, mm -hmm. who was with him? That's right. That's the women and John. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and a lot of times when he said persecuted, you know, I said, well, we're cowards in uh, standing strong with my faith. Mm -hmm. You know, he says, all of us know. Well, have the opportunity to know him, and you yeah. choose not to. What is currently because I just refuse to give up my lifestyle. I'm afraid by what other people may say. It might be a, a cowardly thing because it's something within yourself that you don't want to turn your life over to Christ. Or it could be the outside world itself uh, persecute you. Mm. So, so let me not do what uh, y'all said. But, 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 but the problem here. We, 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 when we think about Calvary, we think some a, a, a major event. Mm -hmm. That's everyday living. Yes, mm -hmm. it's every, it, it, we got to still be a witness mm -hmm. every day of our lives. And it's just not lip service, it, it's our action. Love is an action word. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to show love to everybody. Mm -hmm. Even to 45, we got to show them love. That's That's awesome. We talk, we talk, we talk. Uh -huh. It's not how he treat us. It's about how we treat him. Because we know we saved. Yeah. And so and this is what this is, and this is why Jesus said we gotta love our enemy. If we're gonna get her, you know, we, we, want, we want this new body, this new heaven. Yeah. We, we, we gotta come, he's gonna transform us to be Christians, to be Christ like. Mm -hmm. And we gotta have that Christ like behavior at all times, not just when we want. When you said 45, right? I'm trying to stay away from politics, but still, we saw it for ourselves. The world saw it when the January 6th thing happened. Yes, yes. Even those who had supported him initially, they came in front of everybody and said, "I got, I got to leave him alone. He did too much." But as soon as the, they saw that the, the people were still on the wall for him, they, they, changed. they changed their tune. Yeah. Oh, he's doing it. He hadn't changed up what he did mm -hmm. or how he acted. Mm -hmm. But those people now, they're, they're double toned. Mm -hmm. When you're saying one thing that you can't follow him anymore, mm -hmm. but now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, because of, you, you scared of the people. Mm -hmm. you know. And that's and so true. Yeah. 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 And, and we, we, that's what I said. It, it's a. Action word yeah. is every day. See, Christ is coming back for his church. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna change us. But, but we gotta go through some changes to yep. transform. And he Paul writes in that 12th chapter of, of Rome. He said, be not performed this word, yeah. but be yeah. transformed. Yeah. And, and, and so the world, we and we the church mm -hmm. is slowly is conforming to the ways of the world. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. And, and, and the church needs to be set apart. That's why sanctified, set apart. We're not better, but we're peculiar. We're yeah. different. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we need to show the world this is how Christ wants us. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing is conforming to what yeah, that's, that's how it is. Yeah. Uh, we, we're too easy to let corporate America tell us how to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And instead, we should have more influence. So we, we serve a risen Savior mm -hmm. who's coming back for us. Any questions, comments? Uh, yeah, I guess it's starting to rise over the end Now, listen, y'all, we got new books now. Yeah. Y'all be sure who don't want to have a book, y'all. See, Amen. Dickon Johnson. Amen. Yeah. 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 You need one, let me.